Hi guys, do you know where to go this summer in Ontario? Find out, come join us! If you're looking for some places to go for a long drive this summer, the Bruce Peninsula might just be the place for you. It's about 3 hours from Toronto, and I will show you why it's worth traveling to. What I love about long drives, aside from my husband driving, and I just sit and relax, is getting to see the scenery and enjoy listening to our favorite podcasts, or doing a bit of praise and worship in the car. And my favorite part of every trip is our food adventure. Hi guys! So we're here at Wyrton. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. We're here for our Jamaican lunch. Uh, we are a fan of um, Caribbean cuisine and so that's our first stop for this trip. It's a very quaint, nice uh, town, yeah, we had four hours drive love almost, no, three hours drive and it's really a great weather today, it's sunny, um, not too warm though, because it's actually like there's a breeze, there's a cool breeze actually, but you can see the sun is so high up and we're just excited for this lunch. Oh my god, I can smell it already. Gosh. This is good, man. And as soon as I open the door, it takes me back to Kingston. Jamaica has always had a special place in my heart. Apart from my most treasured memories there, I really love, love, love their food. It's so delicious. Especially this oxtail. Mmm, I can eat all this. Diet? What's that? And we got so lucky to be joined in by the crew for this photo op. Because we were so full from lunch, we opted to get a coffee from this cute, charming coffee shop. Thanks to the power of caffeine, we are now pumped up to go to the Bruce Peninsula Park, which is 49 minutes away from Wyerton. As Bruce Peninsula National Park is very popular during summer, it's highly recommended that you book your reservation online before coming here. The entrance fee is about $11.50 per vehicle. The Bruce Peninsula National Park spans about 154 square kilometer in land area and is located in the northeast side of the Bruce Peninsula. 
The park was established to protect the rock formations and shoreline of the Niagara Escarpment. The park offers opportunities for many outdoors activities, including hiking, camping, and bird watching. It has the largest remaining area of forest and natural habitat in southern Ontario and is home to some of the oldest trees in eastern North America. So we're on our way to the grotto. We're here by the Cypress Lake at the Bruce Peninsula and it, it's a nice day to hike actually because it's not too hot and there's a cool breeze so yeah. And just a tip guys, this would be a great place for couples who are just getting to know each other. You'll have a lot of time talking about just anything. Isn't it romantic? As suggested by the lady at the reception, we took the Mar Lake Trail going to the grotto and to the Indian Head Cove. And speaking of hiking guys, please wear comfortable and sturdy shoes that would provide your foot with support and protection from rocks, as well as give you traction on dry and wet surfaces. Choose comfort and safety over fashion guys, like me! Hey. He's doing the drone. The Bruce Peninsula is most known for its turquoise waters, which divides Georgian Bay of Lake Huron from the lake's main basin. Not to forget its breathtaking cliffs, coves, and fascinating beaches. After 30 minutes of walking from Mar Lake, we finally reached the cliff to see the grotto. Apparently, there are a couple of ways to go to the grotto, one of which is to climb down from the cliff where we were at. Alternatively, if you are adventurous enough and the water is not too cold, you can swim from the Indian head cove. But we didn't do either way, so we got a little help from our drone. Well, it may not be the best quality, but we got a peek of what's inside. Okay, never mind, let's use this. Anyway. Remember I told you earlier about the breathtaking cliffs? Well, I meant it literally. But it's all worth it. Wait till you see this. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, we made it here. Look at my head. <laughs> Into the water, and you're gonna freeze. <laughs> I must say, this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been here in Canada. So, I dare you, see it for yourself. Overall, it took us two hours for the entire hike. And this is the end of a part one of our Bruce Peninsula adventure. And we can't wait to share with you our adventure in Miller Lake and in Sebel Beach.